it shows. Hey guys. So Evil Queen actually makes a good point here about Elphaba, the dingaling. I mean, I, I hate to agree with Evil Queen, but, you know, give credit when credit's due. The police would say, don't you, as well? So say this one rings up the police and goes, oh, I've been, um, I've been transgender or whatever. They'd say, well, have you changed any of your ID over to your chosen name that you want to be known as? Have you no, taken any you steps? Like, you can't just come along to the police station and say, I'm trans, I haven't had no, no um, medical records to back this up. You've never done anything like that. That means anyone can go around committing crimes and it's, no, you are the criminal. Exactly. You ought to be locked up. So obviously Evil Queen has a point there. She, uh, Alpha Bar has got no medical records of being trans. He's not taken any steps. He hasn't changed his name. Nothing. The only thing about Alpha Bar being transgender is that he looks like a woman sometimes. He dresses like them, and that's it. Puts fake boots like a cross dresser. That's why a lot of people call Alpha Bar a cross dresser, and nothing more. Cause he's got no future plans of actually transitioning so if he went to a police station and says all oh, these people have been transphobic towards me they're going to ask for proof that he's trans and he's got none because like like evil queen says anyone can do it i could do it i could just walk into a police station and say oh such and such has been transphobic towards me i'd need to prove it it's just it's just a good point that Elphaba is not transgender. And from that last video, he's transphobic himself. Anyway, I thought I would quickly share. Catch you in the next one.